I got going on today is pepper planting, but first I was going to come and grab these guys right here. Clip them right off. Maybe buy a little more time. All right, and what I'm doing today is finally getting this wave of peppers out. What I've got here is a tote, 72 plug tray. I cut up coffee filters and put a uh, cloth in there so that we can uh, fill it with soil. I noticed the bottoms of these, the holes on them are a little bit wide. I'm afraid of everything leaking out. So we'll see. But 72 plugs, 12 varieties six plugs of each variety with two seeds each that's the plan it's 4 30 in the morning all right to make sure no creepies get into the soil i want this to start off well so a rock in there somewhere maybe Steam it in there for a minute. Make sure no creepies came in. I want to make sure that this goes off really well. So my plan so far is to get them in the other sized bucket. What I have here is my little Jiffy Pop thing. What I noticed about this was it has holes in the bottom of it. So, it can't be bottom watered, but this doesn't have holes in the bottom of it. So, this will become a watering container for it. And when it's done watering, the lid for the Jiffy thing will be a good little liner underneath in the plastic tote for this to go back into so it doesn't get too much moisture down at the bottom as it comes out at the bottom. Got the little coffee filters in there. 
This will be the watering tray. Alright. Time to fill these with some soil. Sand, cinnamon, coconut coir, coir, <laughs> and uh, vermin compost, worm castings, but I just poured really hot water in it, so that should help with the fungus problem quite a bit. Alright, so I'll fill those with soil, get the seeds in them, put them into the watering tray, water them from underneath, take them out of the watering tray, get them into this frame right here to protect the tote that they'll go into, and they'll go into the large tote. Alright, so I've decided to use this little screwdriver thing here. What I'm doing is I'm getting that soil in there and loosely trying to pack it down. I think with the sand in it, it kind of adds a little bit of weight to the soil, so you don't want your seeds struggling too much to come up from too much weight above them and hold them down. So I'll make sure that these are all level and just really lightly, loosely put it on there. And then uh, I'll do that with all the trays. I thought this might be interesting. There's the slot with a hole in it. I'll fill it with some of that dirt like that. And the second plug, this plug right here is filled with dirt like the second one. Basically just the weight of the screwdriver packs it in really, really loose and light. Just not pressing hard makes it look like that I fill it with a little bit more soil and when I pack it in it looks like that really light that's the last plug tree so I'm just putting a little bit of soil in there just the weight of the screwdriver don't want to pack it too tight allow stuff to move around a little bit. One thing that I noticed about those plug trays, the little plugs, is they seem to suffocate my seeds for some reason. So I'm hoping this looser soil, playground sand's probably not the best option, but we get it for like six dollars for a 65 pound bag of playground sand. So it's been like a feasible, affordable option for us right now. But I don't know if I would advise using it. It makes the soil kind of heavy if you use quite a bit of it. We don't use, overuse it, I would say. Maybe even under a little bit. Our soil tends to retain a lot of moisture sometimes. But just fill the plug trays. The weight of something just light. Fill it in a little bit more really light again and then we'll put the seeds in there one of the things I almost forgot is I'm gonna need to label all these once I have the seeds in them so I know which ones they are so something I found that was kind of cool was I got these little label things here from I think the dollar store a while back they'll be able to fold and wrap around the shish kebab sticks to create labels so I know what I'm planting but uh, another cool thing I saw was the tips of the shish kebab stick <coughs> can puncture through this little tray thing right here Give it a place to stay. But, and I can also clip those down to the size I need. I'll be doing that. Clipping these down, labeling them, putting them in there, and we'll have everything ready to go. This is getting t done today one way or another. All right. 
this is the grouping of peppers I plan on planting right here. What we have is black pearl, sangria no heat peppers, explosive ember peppers, phileas blue, Thai dragon, and prairie fire. Those are mostly ornamental and smaller a little bit squatter plant some of them are really small and then for the back row here we're gonna try these red uh, red devil hearts not sure what those are they came with uh, one of our seeds extra we got Jamaican scotch bonnet yellow white ghost pepper Brazilian starfish yellow scorpion and Oda so one a little bit slower from what I understand hot peppers the hotter the pepper the slower the germination of the seed and the speed of the plants growth I guess maybe maybe that's why habaneros take so long but black pearl sangria explosive ember phileas blue Thai dragon prairie fire on one row Red Devil Heart, Yellow Scotch Bonnet, White Ghost Pepper, Brazilian Starfish, Yellow Scorpion, and Oda. And that should be our first wave of peppers. And finally going to get these out. Ready to go.
right, knock the soil over them just a tiny bit so it stays kind of yeah. loose on top of them, and then I'll bottom water all of them. Alright, I got a couple of these trays out. I thought it was really cool. There was a centerpiece in this one. It gives it a little more stability. It might be hard to get in and out of the watering bucket, but it should have decent stability with what's going on so far. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these trays up with water and get it all bottom watered. It'll eventually go into there with a lid on the plastic to protect it from the moisture getting through. Kind of keep this a little bit. I probably need to sanitize a little bit more too than I've already done. Right now, why it's absorbing some water and everything, I got it right in front of the heater so it kind of stays warm too. That water was getting really uh, chilly right away. It is winter time. But that's what it looks like. Um, some notes. The seeds that we got came from the notorious the V Bay, and uh, we decided we were going to try that as our first wave. Is kind of like testing out the public market. There's some really good sellers out there with some really good prices. So it's questionable on feasibility with things like that. But how's the workstation all cleaned up? Pepper's done, ready to go. They will go out of that for the watering into here and then up into the bedroom right in front of a south facing window. So we'll be able to keep heat and stuff. I'm not going to keep it cracked at all times. I'm not going to try to seal the moisture in there at all like that. And then moved out of there back into the watering thing. Some of these we've given away already. Some of these are about to be moved upstairs as well. This will probably have several trees in it pretty soon. But, yeah, it's the tray of peppers we've been wanting to get out since the beginning of January. We decided to check around the public market and check some of these uh, places out that have some of these rare seeds, and we'll see what happens with them. So this is in no way a tutorial. I'm just trying to show what we're doing here at our house right now. We're all recovering from the sickness and kind of needed my motivation back. I've been waiting to get this done and there it is. So wish me luck. Thanks you guys.